Greetings. I recently was pulling together a bunch of video clips from different sources to create kind of a documentary of a series of events that recently happened in the life of my wife and I, and I realized as I was downloading some clips that were originally created via live stream to Facebook, something like this, you know, this kind of a video. When I downloaded some of the videos, I had sound, but most of them didn't have sound, and I couldn't figure out how to consistently get sound. So I had to come up with a workaround, and I thought, well, since I figured this out, maybe somebody else might benefit from what I learned and how I did it. So the first thing you need is a laptop or a computer that has an output to headphone jacks, like this kind of jack, you know. Standard, I guess, that's one quarter inch or 2.5 millimeter or whatever it is. Your headphones. So you plug into the headphone out, and then you have to have, on the other end of that line, I'll show you what I've got here. You have to have another headphone in to use a device that I use, this uh, H4n. It has the headphone in jacks type to get the signal in. So it's coming out of the computer, going through a line that has headphone jacks on both ends. Now, I didn't have one of those, so I built something using two of those devices, two of those lines. Here, I'll show you. So I've got a headphone line in that goes to the RCA jacks. I have adapters like these to allow me to plug them in and connect to another line that produces essentially headphone jacks on both ends. And I plugged one end in here to the uh, H4N input and I plugged the other one in to my headphone output. So once I did that I could play the video and record the audio and then in the editor I brought in the video that had no sound and then synced up the audio track from the same video. And then off I went. So that's my solution. Hopefully you find that of use and uh, it may be obvious, but then again, maybe not because it took me a little bit to figure out how I was going to solve it. And then I said, well, all I have to do is capture the output on playback and then sync it up. But I, I didn't go there first. I spent a lot of time trying to get the audio and the video to be dumped when I downloaded the video file. Hope that helps you, and feel free to click the subscribe button. Thanks very much.